What up, guys? This is Chivo Guides back here again with another video. Today, I'm going to be playing one of my favorite fighting games from the early 90s. Not only that, but I'm going to be playing it on Xbox, and that game is Clay Fighter. Specifically, I'm going to be playing the Super Nintendo version. Man, I have no idea why they haven't made a modern Clay Fighter game yet. I think it would actually do really good. Now, a couple quick things about the game before I fire it up. First and foremost, I'm going to be playing this via AntStream Arcade. This is a new retro game streaming service that just released on Xbox, and it includes over 1,300 games. And one of those games is Clay Fighter. This is the first time we've ever been able to play Clay Fighter on an Xbox console, at least legally. Now, back in the day, this game was actually developed by Visual Concepts. They're known for developing the sports games in the 2K franchise. The company was purchased by Sega in 1999 and it was sold to Take-Two Interactive in 2005. However, the publisher was Interplay, so not too sure if Interplay or 2K owned the rights for this game, but they definitely need to figure out the licensing issues. I mean, Anstream Arcade was able to license the game, so there must be some wiggle room. Now, as you can see, I'm scrolling through the characters right here. They have some really funny designs and some even funnier names. Hopefully, Anstream Arcade will end up adding Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut, which was on the Nintendo 64. But for now, you can either play the Mega Drive or SNES version of Clay Fighter via Anstream Arcade. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up, and I'm actually going to be playing the game from start to finish. And man, I gotta admit, I forgot how hard this game was. This game was pretty hard to beat. I definitely have a lot of nostalgia for this game. The game parodies other fighting games like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. Well, I believe there was also a tournament edition of this game, however it was exclusive to Blockbuster. I think there's even a Clay Fighter too, so hopefully they'll add that one as well. A lot of people are familiar with the Nintendo 64 version, which was Clay Fighter 63 and a third. They ended up releasing a Blockbuster exclusive version of that game as well, which was Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut. So yeah, I was really curious about the Antstream Arcade service, and I was, you know, going through the games, and the two games that stood out to me the most were Clay Fighters and Earthworm Jim 1 and 2. Specifically Earthworm Jim 2, as we never got Earthworm Jim 2 on any Xbox console before. And same with Clay Fighters, so these are two games from my childhood. I remember when I was in fourth grade, I walked to my friend Sam's house after school, and typically we would play N64 at his house. However, one day his dad busted out the SNES and showed us a few games, and one of the games he showed us was Clay Fighter. And that was the first time I ever played the game, was this version, the SNES version. Shortly after, I had to ask my mom to go to Blockbuster to rent Clay Fighters on the Nintendo 64. So yeah, I had a lot of memories playing this game as a kid, and I definitely wanted to show you guys what it looked like playing it on an Xbox. Obviously, it looks just like it used to, with the clay-style animated sprites. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, it did catch me by surprise how hard this game was. It's definitely not as easy to play as some other games from this generation, like, it actually took quite a while for me to get used to these moves. Not only that, but the difficulty on the AI is quite hard and I don't think you could lower the difficulty. So yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the game. I'm definitely not going to be commentating through this full video, but if you guys want to check it out, I am playing arcade mode from start to finish, and aside from that, I'll probably upload a few more videos related to Antstream Arcade. For sure, I'll probably do one on Earthworm Gym 2. So make sure you guys stay tuned in with the channel for some more awesome videos. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here are the combatants for this extravaganza. Bad Mr. Frosty versus Ichibad Clay. Oh, my God. 
Ladies and gentlemen, here are the combatants for this extravaganza. Bad Mr. Frosty versus Kathy. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the combatants for this extravaganza. Bad Mr. Frosty versus Bunker. <laughs> Frosty wins the battle. 
Gentlemen, here are the combatants for this extravaganza. Bad Mr. Frosty versus Tiny. Gentlemen, here are the combatants for this extravaganza. Bad Mr. Frosty versus Blue Flame Goo. Cool. <laughs> Blue suede goo wins the battle. 
Thank you very much. Hey, what's the hair, man? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's the hair, man? Hey, what's the hair, man? Oh, mama. Uh-huh. Bad Mr. Frosty wins the battle. I'm bad, I'm cool, I know I'm cool. Gentlemen, here are the combatants for this extravaganza. Bad Mr. Frosty versus Happy. Gentlemen, here are the combatants for this extravaganza. Bad Mr. Frosty versus Bad Mr. Frosty. Oh, my God. 
Ladies and gentlemen, here are the combatants for this extravaganza. Bad Mr. Frosty versus the Blob. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the combatants for this extravaganza. Bad Mr. Frosty versus Tiny. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here are the combatants for this extravaganza. Bad Mr. Frosty versus Bonker. <laughs> Mr. 
Frosty wins the battle. I'm bad, I'm cool, I'm no one's fool. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the combatants for this extravaganza. Cool. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 12 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, Kegger101, Kana25, Rockmono44, and HinderGod35. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.